Hey and welcome to another tutorial that I will show you how to create this cool looking TikTok logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is the creation done in PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will jump into blank presentation, I already have this logo in here. And if you take a closer look you can see it's just like you know two same looking symbols overlaid on top of each other, being offset it a little bit, creating this kind of cool looking like a chromatic aberration effect or just you know just two different or two same looking symbols. I've set it with the blending mode set to multiply, which is how you would actually do it in like Illustrator or Photoshop. We don't have such a feature in a PowerPoint, but there are some ways how to simulate this effect. Anyway, in order to create this symbol, we have to start with something and then so that something would be just one of those symbols. So we would either have to trace the black and the cyan part or the black and the magenta part, which could be kind of confusing with the image like this. So if I open the format ribbon and the color drop down menu, I usually select this gray preset, but this time I will make an exception and I will actually select this black and white 50%. Now you can see that immediately as I hover over this effect, this preset, I get only one of those shapes, which will make things a lot of easier to trace. So I will select this preset. I cannot fade it just like it, you know, using the colors drop down menu like I do usually. So what I will do is I will insert a new shape being the rectangle, which I will draw over this shape or the image. And I will set the outline to no outline and fill to be white with a little bit of transparency. I don't know, like maybe 20% or so. So that's perfectly fine. I will zoom in and I can start drawing shapes. So I guess I will start with the bottom part of this like a node symbol. So insert shapes and I will select this uh, circle hollow. I will draw it in a size kind of matching the symbol, maybe like this. I will open the fill properties, not setting the no fill, but actually setting the fill transparency. So set the more fill colors and increase the transparency to like 60%. I will right click and select set as default shape to make sure that every, every newly drawn shape will have this fill and outline properties. Then I will just resize it to match the outer part and move the yellow handle to match the inner part. Okay, I guess I'm fine with the result. So I will continue with this right part and the main part is most likely a rectangle. So insert shapes a new rectangle and I'll try to draw it in a way that kind of matches, you know, both the logo, but of course I need to match the circle or the hollow circle as well. So I will zoom into this part to make sure that kind of everything is matching. But sometimes it's hard to resize it. So Usually what I do, I resize it from the other side and just move it to the right spot. Okay, that's fine. I would need the, the gap in here, so I guess I will just duplicate this shape and move it to the left side, like this. And just resize it. Make sure it doesn't overlap the circle at all. Okay, so maybe like this. And then I need this, like the top part of the node. And I guess I can just reuse this bottom part if I just hold, you know, move it with the control key being pressed, I will just duplicate this shape, move it to the right spot, which is just around here and resize it to a bigger size. Doesn't seem to be working that well. So let's try to resize it even more. Okay. And then I'll adjust this yellow handle. Okay. I'm very happy with the result. So I would need two more rectangles, which I will subtract. One rectangle will be on top. So I guess I will just copy this shape and resize it to top and to both sides. And then I will need one more rectangle on top on the right side. So I'll insert a new rectangle in here like this. Okay, so we have quite many different symbols. Let's try to create the shape out of those. So I will select this hollow circle and the rectangle and this whole circle and I will select format merge shapes union. Then I will select all you know this this one big shape and all the rectangles and select merge shapes subtract. And voila we have the cool looking node symbol exactly as we want to. So I will delete this underlying rectangle which covers the image and I will show the selection pane and for the picture I will actually reset the colors. So select format reset picture. Now we can see that we have one of those shapes being traced. So what I will do is I will duplicate this shape one more time. So I'll copy paste it and move it to the left. So covering this blue letter. Now I will select both the shapes holding the control key on my keyboard and move them to the right side. Now I cannot just set this uh, to be blue and this to be red and expect the middle one to be black just because you cannot set the blending mode. So if I 
if I, I can quickly show you if I set the shape field to be uh, cyan and the other one to be magenta you know the middle one of course is something you know going from the left left shape or the right shape so what I need to do is I need to actually merge those shapes together to create all those different you know overlapping shapes if I can say it like this so I will select both shapes and select format merge shapes fragment that will give me all the overlaying uh, on, on, on overlapping shapes as a separate shapes so what I can do now is I can select just this middle shape and set the fill to be black one I already have the, those shapes set to cyan so I need to select this one and that one and set the fill to be magenta and of course for all the fills should be the outline should be no outline and actually this part should be magenta as well okay and I guess that's it that's how you create the TikTok logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time you know as we've said you cannot simulate the you cannot actually set the blending mode to be multiply like this but since you can you know set the fragment you know boolean operation for shapes you can kind of simulate it of course now you cannot just move those shapes around so it's maybe a good idea to, before setting the fragment boolean operation to just keep one of those shapes you know around in case you want to make any changes later on and that's it that's how you create the tiktok logo in microsoft powerpoint in almost no time thanks for watching